Introduction Magnets are fun to play with. As a child, you might have experimented with magnets and learned a few things about them. Magnets attract objects made of iron or steel. Magnets can attract or repel other magnets. A freely hanging magnet will align in the north-south direction. These interesting observations led to the study of magnets. The phenomenon caused by a magnet is called magnetism. A magnetic compass is the simplest tool using a magnet. It uses a permanent magnet. Such permanent magnets always behave like a magnet. Here we have a piece of iron. Now we wind some insulated wire around this iron piece. When we connect this setup to a battery, a current will flow through the wire and the iron piece behaves like a magnet. It will attract magnetic materials near it. But when we switch off the current, the iron piece will lose the magnetic behavior. Such object whose magnetism is controlled electrically is called an electromagnet. They are very useful and are used in electric motors. Physicists analyzed and measured the effect of a magnet has on its nearby objects. They found some materials that are attracted to a magnet and called them magnetic materials. Iron, cobalt and nickel are strongly magnetic materials. Most materials we find in our daily life like plastic or wood are not affected by magnets. These materials are called non-magnetic materials. But what causes magnetism? Electrons. Like electric charge, electrons also have a quantum property called spin magnetic moment or spin. Electrons have a spin of either positive half or negative half. If the net spin of an electron in an atom is zero, it is non-magnetic. Otherwise, the atom has a net magnetism. Also, when atoms group together to form crystals, the magnetic moments of the atoms should be aligned in the same direction. 